Hey y'all. Um, I had a, a fellow artist who um, was actually curious about um, what I was doing with uh, acrylics and my painting. Uh, so I'm making this video just to, uh, to show you <coughs> what I've progressed so far. Um, again, this is um, an, a concept that I had which is basically uh, recreate scenes from the Bible using photorealism. Um, so basically it would be like doing Photoshop but with a canvas. Uh, so this is what I've got so far. It just this acrylic stuff is like really, really difficult to work with. I can't stress how much. Um, another thing that I, I forgot to mention in the last video, I live in South Florida, well, Florida, Central Florida. Um, so it's hot as hell outside and the humidity and stuff. So I imagine that's also a factor because I, I figured, you know, I have a beautiful lake and the fountain and everything. I thought, well, you know, it'd be cool to paint outside, you know, uh, maybe make a conversation with the neighbors and, uh, you know, <laughs> that didn't work because it's like I, I, I go down to get a little bit of paint, go up here, come back down, dry, done. There's no human way possible to, to mix the stuff. Um, if anyone uh, who's familiar with oils, especially if you mix with linseed oil, you, you paint and you can go back like a day later and still be able to blend and do stuff. Um, this is one of the reasons I imagine that you guys have so many colors because I saw acrylics and they're so cheap. I said, um, man, you got like a hundred different shades of orange. It's because you can't blend the stuff. Um, so that's, that's what I'm assuming. With oils, you have a, a basic palette and you just mix them and then you you apply them however you, you see fit. And I picked this painting uh, just for the sake of the fact that it was going to be almost monochromatic. So, you know, you'd have black, white, and then just different shades of orange and, and red and yellows and stuff like that. Uh, so I've, I picked this for the, the simplicity of it. Uh, this is, again, this is Lot's wife. There's an actual stock photo of uh, Lot's wife, the pillar. Uh, this is actually in the area of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah over there in... Uh, in the Holy Land and stuff. This would be the Dead Sea. This is the actual area where uh, Sodom and Gomorrah w is. Like if you look at the picture, that's that's where it is. So you know, I got the atomic bomb. I put a blast up here, and then there's all the fire and all the stuff coming down. These are actually stock photos of uh, rockets, and um, I, I think it's either napalm or some kind of uh, incendiary. So as you can see. Um, I, I gave up on trying to blend stuff, so I said, I'm just going to put this stuff down, and if anything, maybe try stippling or some other technique. Um, I purchased something online, which was supposed to be to help you blend and to keep it from drying. Um, when I got it, it, it took me like a couple of, like almost a week to get it, and when I touched it, I go, wait a minute, hold on, I know this stuff. I've used this stuff. Holy crap, it's KY Jelly. <laughs> So, it doesn't say what it is on the jar, but I know it's KY Jelly, which was one of the things that I had um, thought of. I said, I can't use oils because of the simple fact that, you know, everybody says that you can't mix oils with acrylics uh, because the pigments won't work or whatnot. I'm even thinking about maybe using an emulsifier, which in this case might be uh, dishwashing soap. Uh, in case people don't know that, uh, oil and water do mix. You need an emulsifier like uh, Dawn, uh, you know, in other words, if you do mechanics and your hands are full of grease, the soap allows the water and the oil to mix. So this is another concept that I'm working on, but I would have to do it on something that's not um, this, like a, a project. So I actually have a, um, one of those cheap uh, boards, and I got it gessoed up and stuff, and I'm planning on, on experimenting to see um, how long it lasts, if I can mix... Uh, you know, some kind of oil with the acrylic and see how long the pigments. Because the last thing I want to do is paint something. It's like, oh, voila, it's beautiful. And then have the whole thing just, you know, come off. So this is what I got so far. Uh, again, you can see the explosions here in the water and there'll be more. These are all stock photos of uh, um, aquatic explosions. So I could get the photo realism. Uh, these are all trails of like missiles and stuff uh, falling. And um, I, I just cannot get the damn thing to mix. Um, so I said, well, I'll do different backgrounds and stuff. And like I said, stipple, stipple, stippling, you know, little t -t 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 little dots and stuff to try to see if that works. Um, but again, I, I, on this canvas right here that you're seeing here, these are like a bunch of different techniques and nothing, nothing seems to work. 
Um, I haven't used that uh, stuff yet, the KY, because um, we, we had to redo the bathroom and stuff down here. I, I rent the room from the gentleman, uh, rent the room upstairs. Uh, so he was doing the bottom bathroom, so I had to stop for a while. And also it was my birthday. But uh, this is what I got so far. Um, and uh, again, I take my hat off to anybody who works with this stuff because it is ridiculously hard to work with. Um, you know, I'm not a person that likes to, you know, put the, the wet mat and then put the paintings on top of there. And it's like, no, no, man, just, I, I, I'm an oil painter. So it's like you put that stuff on there. You don't have to cover it or anything. It will stay there. If anything, it gets a little hard and you can go through the crust and still the paint is, is still wet days and days later. So, you know, it's, it's just a different um, media that I just I need to get used to. Um, but again, this is what I got so far, and um, I stopped for a while because, again, it just it was driving me nuts. Um, but I'm going to basically just fill in all the colors and everything and then just go back and try to stipple and uh, see if I can that technique works. If not, another thing that I was thinking is, uh, the thing is, it, it's like for me, I, I, I do very photorealistic uh, paintings when I do them. Uh, with this stuff, it, it just looks cartoonish. So it's it's just, I, I can't get that photorealism uh, that I would with uh, with oil paints. Um, anybody who's worked with oils understands what I'm saying. You do your clouds and stuff and they look like, you know, even if you don't know what you're doing, you just basically, you know, blend it up and it's like, wow, that looks amazing. You know, so it's a lot of happy mistakes that can happen with oil. Uh, I found that with acrylic, you don't get those happy mistakes. Um, you got to be purposeful, purposefully doing what you're doing. So as you can see, like I said, I'm just trying to fill the whole canvas with color and then, uh, put some detail in there probably and then maybe at the end what I'll do is just get an airbrush and just airbrush everything so it kind of blends it somewhat but again these are all uh, things that I'm contemplating I'm trying to see if I can do some kind of mix between oils and acrylics uh, get some linseed oil with some Dawn and use the acrylic pigments and then try it on a, on a separate canvas to see if uh, that works and it doesn't uh, destroy the pigments and stuff but this is what I've got so far so um, again to the uh, young lady that was asking uh, for oil paintings of my previous work unfortunately uh, I mean just recently I moved from Miami to Orlando and the paintings were you know one of the first things to go you know it's like it, it's it's just I don't know why but I just um, I'm like oh the hell with it you know I, I tend to be like um, like, uh, well, who was this guy, um, Michelangelo, who used to scream at his paintings, speak, speak, uh, not his paintings, his uh, sculptures, and then, you know, he destroyed his own stuff, yeah, that's, that's me, <laughs> so it's like I'm very critical of my own work, so, uh, but I wanted to get back into it and see if maybe I could, um, you know, sell a couple of pieces and stuff, um, I, I don't sell because I, I most artists will probably relate to this when you put so much into a painting it, it's like it's part of you and stuff so it's like it, there's a certain pain of giving away your children and your your passion so but I, I just got to get over that um, so I want to try to see if I can get a couple of things because I do still live very fairly close to Miami for an art basil or something uh, when I was down in Miami I had a, a lady at a gallery that was interested in some of my work um, it just I moved up here and everything went down the toilet but I do want to go back down uh, with at least let's say 16 canvases worth of uh, work uh, it's just this thing is absolutely horrible <laughs> so again this is what I've got so far um, I just got to finish doing the um, the um, Lot's wife the rock formations here uh, there's one that in the photo goes here but I'm moving it over here to get the uh, triangle symmetry and stuff to give it more of a of a framing to the painting and um, yeah it's like it, it just again hats off I could not get this to blend if this was oil it would look just amazing but uh, so I'm kind of held up on trying to think of how, how to attack this thing uh, but that's what I got so far so peace